I'm going to read from a sheet. I ordinarily don't do that. Uh, Patrick Holmes, 5-0 in his career as a week one starter. In yeah. those five games, he's averaged 308 passing yards per game. <laughs> he is uh, 18 touchdowns. How many two, interceptions? Zero. Zero. <laughs> interceptions, a 72.5% completion percentage, and a passer rating that doesn't exist. So why are the Lions going to win? the charts. They're also, and the key part is the bottom of that screen there, the last thing in white, they're averaging essentially <laughs> 38 points a game in their season opener. And here come the Detroit Lions like lambs dun, to dun, the dun, dun. Thank you. Except that this year it's going to be different. Wrong. Come on. I Wrong. Wrong. Statistics. Wrong. And at some point, all runs come to an end. And today is the day. Tonight is the night where that comes to an end. Wrong. Yeah, I think the Detroit Lions are going to be better because their Wrong. offensive line and their run game led by Jamar Gibbs, who I'm excited to see. I love Jared Goff. And by all accounts, this defense will be better because of C.J. Gardner Johnson. You just I said, love. I love Jared Goff. No one's ever said that. His I wife has never said that. Yeah. He's a fighter. They he's traded him so they could win the Super Bowl. And he's bitter. And that chip over the shoulder will be seen tonight. He will carry that. The only thing we need to win the Super Bowl is to get you out of here. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the Rams said. <laughs> That's what we need. They did. Less you, you still gotta love more Super Bowl. And he has a hot fiance, so that also counts that in my works. world. Yeah. And look, obviously everyone's gonna lean on Kansas City, rightfully so. Like, they're a dominant team. They're also the best week one team in the last five years uh, with Patrick Mahomes. Can't dispute it. But all of a sudden, there are little chinks in the armor. Chris Jones probably yep. not playing tonight. <laughs> Chink in the armor. Travis Kelsey, hyperextended knee, probably not playing tonight. Chink in the armor. And while Mahomes can make you know, lemonade out of lemons for sure, you are now seeing little things starting to erode the dominance of a great team. On the flip side... You have this young kind of up-and-coming team that for the first time in 30 years, and that's not an exaggeration, no, it is has not. a legitimate chance yeah. to win their division and even play some postseason football. So those two things are kind of colliding tonight. And look, if Kansas City wins, none of us are going to be surprised. But I do think it is a very close game. Yeah, you talk about Patrick Mahomes making lemonade out of lemons, and one of the ways he can do that tonight is by relying on those guys that they're interchangeable. And those guys, in my opinion, Sky Moore and Kadarius Toney. Sure. Like, they're going to be a fo huge focal point because if you don't have Travis Kelsey, who operates in that middle of the field in the slot, this is what you're going to see. You're going to see a lot of Kadarius Tony. If you look at the top in the slot, you're going to see a lot of Kadarius Tony running those routes that we see Travis Kelsey run. A lot of the interchangeability of he and Sky Moore running those similar routes that you always are accustomed to seeing 87 going across the middle of the field. Yeah. They don't have that. No, nope. that's what I say. There are little, like you try to erode, you know, what they've done. And there's little things. Chris Jones is a big thing, obviously. Sure. It's just going to be interesting because the strength of the Detroit Lions, for me, you guys obviously disagree, they can score. This offense is going yeah, to put points score. on the board. And Kansas City, look, if you told me Kansas City wins the game 35-32, it ain't going to shock me. But this is not going to be roll the ball out, bing, Kansas City wins. Carpe uh, Adumidem. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I think their defense is going to be better. That's the question. I think you're talking about Brian Branch. You're talking about Jack Campbell, who's Brian Earl, like a 2.0. They're going to be a better defense because the defensive coordinator, Aaron Glenn. I think he's going to have mixed coverages, multiple things to put pressure on uh, Patrick Mahomes. And I think this won't be the Lions defense that we saw last year. They have more key pieces and more impact players. I think it's going to be a challenge for the Kansas City Whatever Chiefs. Whatever side you take. It's just good, right? Let's, yeah, let's yeah, enjoy it back. Yeah. Like football, real yeah. football Ooh. is back. Ooh. Also back, our second headline, oh. Nick Bosa Ooh. is back in a 49er uniform. Yeah. $122 million guaranteed. Can you say that again? $122 million guaranteed. Wow. You know, there's, a, I think, a fair juxtaposition between Shanahan and Andy Reid regarding Nick Bosa and Chris Jones, Good which point. I know we're going to get to in a second. And that is Shanahan, a week ago, we played it for you out here on the show, said, look, these things usually get done at the last minute. Uh, in my experience, that's when it gets done. My belief is that's going to get done. And he's right. It got done, you know, uh, Wednesday. So, what, four days before uh, San Francisco plays Pittsburgh to open up their season. The flip side of that is Andy Reid. Andy Reid said about Chris Jones, I have no idea. I'm not involved with it. I only coach the guys that are here. That shows you, I think, fundamentally 
where the two franchises are in regards to giving their best defensive players the money that they want. That's a really good point because if you look at the Chris Jones situation, it just seems like he's ready to hold out until week eight. Yes. He wants his money. He'll give up money to make more money long term. Whereas Nick Bosa thing, it was a couple days ago, Kyle Shanahan was like, historically, it gets done. these things find a way to figure it out. And right. there's a difference between signing on Wednesday to play on right. Sunday. Now, let's take that to the next step. That also means that John Lynch told Kyle Shanahan, we're close. We're exactly. going to get it done. Exactly. And in Kansas City, uh, Vreach, right? What's Veach, Veach, right? Veach. The GM in Kansas City told Andy Reid, we ain't close. That's what's happening. And on, t on top of that, we're going to pull up a graphic and show you the Niners are spending this money and they got a lot of it, which puts a lot of onus on. They're trying to win now. Now, they restructured Big Trent Williams, the left tackle, and they restructured George Kettle, to my knowledge. But overall, look at that. $170 million for Bosa. Yeah. Talk about Fred Warner, $95.2 million. Uh, Armstead, eighty-five. Hargraves, you know, eighty-four. How do I they mean, spend all that money? They're spending it. So this puts a lot of pressure on this team. We got to win now. And they did it by getting Nick Bosa back in the building. So John, uh, John Lynch and uh, – they, they, they're writing them checks. I would say this. That would bother me if I'm the fan of, like, the New York Giants when Saquon doesn't get a couple extra million or the Raiders and Josh Jacobs doesn't get a couple extra million bucks or if I'm sitting there in Kansas City and Chris Jones yeah. hasn't gotten the, Colts. the money he wants. The Colts with Taylor. Like, there's a team that thinks they're Super Bowl ready, and we all agree that they probably are oh, yeah. talent-wise, and they found a way to sign eight guys you know to a billion do dollars for the contract. you understand why they can do that? Because they have a rookie quarterback. Because that's relieving pressure from yeah. his uh, second-year quarterback that they're hoping can be what he was last and year I, in those last eight and, games. And sorry to cut you off. Yeah, and you're, you're spot on great. And look how lucky they are. I yeah. mean, Brock Purdy was yeah. a seventh-round draft pick. You know what I mean? Like, they, they, I mean, they counted on Trey Lance to be that guy. He's gone. Yeah. Uh, Sam Donald, they didn't know what he was going to be. Now they have Brock Purdy coming off an injury, led him to an NFC Championship game last year. They were like, man, we're good for right now. Let's just kind of load up and get the Calvary together. I want to give you just an example of what the guys are talking about. So this year, uh, Shadur Sanders, Deion son, the starting quarterback at Colorado, will make three times as much money as Brock Purdy. Wild. <laughs> That's real. Yeah. That's real. Throw Brock, Caleb Williams in it. Brock Purdy is going to make $750,000 as part of his rookie contract this year. Shadur Sanders is at $2.1 million. Wow. in NIL money right now. Mm -hmm. That's that's how little money. Right now. Brock right. He's going to make $5 million by the end of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But Brock Purdy is being paid, yeah. you know, like he's barely in <laughs> And he's the starting quarterback of a team that legitimately can win a Super Bowl. Hey there. Thank you so much for watching The Carton Show. You can subscribe right here to get all the latest bits and segments from the show. And by the way, while you're at it, we have a lot of great shows on FS1. So check them out too.